Little Turtle's Big Adventure. Beside a pond lived a little turtle. Every day he sat on a log and took long naps in the warm sun. He could watch mice scamper. He could hear birds twitter and frogs grump from lily pads. Every night, the little turtle pulled his head and feet and tail inside his shell and went to sleep. The pond was the right place for a little turtle to live. One morning, a rumble like thunder woke the little turtle. Men with steam shovels and bulldozers were working in the clover fields. The machines pushed over trees. They dug up clover. They tore down hills and filled up holes. The machines made so much noise that the turtles couldn't hear the birds or frogs. Closer and closer came the machines. Finally they reached the very edge of the pond. The machines splashed mud all over the turtle. He had to hurry off his log and hide in the weeds. But the big machines did not stop at the pond. The steam shovels began throwing loads of dirt right into the water. Frogs hopped off through the clover. Birds scolded and flew away. Mice twitched their whiskers and scurried after the frogs. The bulldozers covered the turtle with dust from his nose to his tail. When the noise had stopped, the little turtle peeked out through the weeds. He was all alone. The pond was gone. Soon new machines began to arrive. They made everything flat and smooth. They were building a road. Before long, the road was finished. Now there was nothing to watch but cars and trucks. There was nothing to hear but beeping and honking. At night, the little turtle couldn't fall asleep. He could st stay here no longer. He had to find a new home. Early one morning, the turtle started out. He tried living in a field, but the grass was too tall. He tried living in a forest, but the forest was dark and damp. There was no place for a little turtle to warm himself in the sun. The turtle looked all summer. Nowhere could he find a new home. Autumn came, cold winds blew, leaves from the trees. Birds flew south, but the little turtle kept on looking. At last winter came. Snow fell, icicles hung from the trees. The turtle could go no farther. He dug into the mud and shut himself inside his shell. Lying deep beneath the snow and frozen mud, the little turtle slept. Finally, warm rain melted the snow. Spring came. The little turtle crawled out of the mud and stretched. He still had no home. There was nothing to do but keep looking. Every day the turtle walked. He saw more forests and more hills and more fields. But nowhere could he find a place that looked just right for a little turtle. Then one day, a boy saw the turtle. The turtle had never seen a boy before. This is no place for a little turtle, the boy said. And he picked the little turtle up and carried him down a shady path. The turtle hid inside his shell. He had never been carried before. After a while, the boy stopped and put the turtle down. Slowly, the turtle peeked out of his shell. He was sitting beside a pond. It was a good pond, too. Frogs grumped and birds twittered. Mice scurried about. For a long time, the little turtle sat on a flat rock. Then he did what turtles do when they are happy. He closed his eyes and took a long nap in the warm sun. He had found a new home at last.